Hey everyone, I hope you are all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. This is what I like to call a break video, where I take a break from all of the heavy topics that we usually discuss on my channel to just sit down and have some laughs. Also, I had some, um, juice, <laughs> you know, juice. Because I usually get very nervous while recording voiceovers, but this may mean I'm a little more chaotic than usual, so yeah, just a heads up. Anyway, today's video is one that I had gotten requests for ever since I made my Ranking Weird K-pop merch video. But today, we're not going to be talking about merch from official K-pop companies. Nope, we're headed into the darkest depths of the internet to find the absolute creepiest merch ever. Yes, of course, I'm talking about Redbubble. So if you don't know what Redbubble is, it's a website where anyone can upload their art or in most cases, just pictures that they don't even hold the rights to. And Redbubble basically can print that art onto a variety of merchandises. So when you order anything, Redbubble prints on demand and gives a portion, a very tiny portion of the money to the owner of the artwork. So just knowing that anyone could upload their quote art may give you an idea of what I mean when I say this website is fun with a capital F. And today I will be talking about just 20 of such merchandises that I found with a quick scroll. But before we get to the ranking, let's talk about the tiers. At the top, we have Masterpiece. Pretty self-explanatory. Anything that I put here is Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping. And spectacular, never the same, totally unique. <laughs> and moving on to non-ironic chuckle. Since all of these things are in some way a little odd, I won't rank them normally like if I would buy them or not because they're all cursed in some way. But we can appreciate the idea behind them and the execution, of course. So non-ironic chuckle is basically, I think it was very funny. It's not quite a masterpiece, but it did make me laugh out loud, which isn't easy because most of the time I'm like this. Here is the mid-tier. Honestly, it's okay. It made me snort a bit, but I'll forget about it in like a minute, so it's not revolutionary. Cringe. All the stuff that comes here can easily be in the same realm as Facebook minion memes, those just girly thing posts on Tumblr and whatever your aunt posts on TikTok. Period. T. And lastly, cursed. Ew, get it out of here. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to see it. I don't even want to think about it. And now we can get into the ranking. Ooh! Starting strong with this incredible Jin pin. I actually find this really cute, like by really cute, but the reason it isn't in Masterpiece is because the creator didn't improve upon the original meme. Yeah, of course this is hilarious because it's Jin, but not necessarily the product. But moving on to this. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god, what is that? Now, I don't care if this is embarrassing. I have to say it, I have to come clean. I spent way too much time on the skirt section of Redbubble. That is my confession. Forgive me, I have sinned. I know, I just can't stop. <laughs> the same picture does not translate onto all mediums. And this is what I mean. Ooh! is honestly maybe better than the original. I mean, I don't know about you, but I think wearing a non-distorted Johnny face on my skirt is way more embarrassing than wearing whatever this is. Maybe that's just me though. Now, this next one may get you a few stares in public, maybe a few furry accusations, but hey, you're a K-pop fan. Nothing you haven't heard before, right? <laughs> laugh through the pain, everyone. Just laugh through the pain. Ooh! I had the privilege of not seeing the original media for this image, so I had a big laugh when I encountered this. It's definitely something I would buy in bulk and put on all of my dad's stuff just to piss him off. Oh. Flower, 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 flower. Oops. This Chungha clock, which is cringe. Now, I do get the original meme, and it's kind of funny, but not put it on a clock funny. And this image is like 5 pixels at most, and with the snapping text box in the middle and the fact that it's a f***ing clock. I'm guessing it wasn't snap a clock. 
get it because this didn't snap you know <clears throat> this is either someone putting in no effort in at all or someone who's so comedically genius that we're only gonna get this like five years from now but let's be honest it's just someone who's lazy trying to make a few extra bucks and i can respect that so <gasps> And next to this amazing Dejita artwork puzzle and our first masterpiece. Literally nothing to even joke about. Firstly, it's not just a pixelated screenshot from the music video. Someone actually put an effort to draw this beautiful artwork and the fact that it's a puzzle just elevates it. 100 out of 10, I would want to buy it, but Red Bull prices are extreme, so... Unrelated, if anyone's willing to fuel my crippling urge to buy anything remotely not in my budget, hit me up. Ooh. Ooh. This JYP pin. Cursed. Sorry for the jump scare. But after that last one, we're literally taking a nosedive to the bottom tier. This is as cursed as it gets. It is pixelated, but in this case, I actually think it helps because the blurrier this is, the better. I don't really think anyone appreciates JYP in HD. Honestly, I don't even know why anyone would want this near them. Even as a joke, if you buy it, there's gonna be a point when you realize the joke wasn't funny and now you're stuck with a JYP pin. Good luck! Ooh! This pillow. Snore? I mean, it is kind of funny, but it's more 2019 humor. And the best part is honestly just imagining your grandma fluffing the pillows and coming across this. I mean, maybe grandma will like it. It's been years of her just fluffing pillows and she deserves a gift. And next is this Vernon skirt. <laughs> so like the Johnny skirt, this one would be another snort. But this seems intentional because it's not like an actual good photo of Vernon. It's a meme. I mean... He still looks good because he's Vernon, but it is definitely intentional, so I don't know if it matters, but this one would be a louder snort. Ooh. Next is this feral barking JK. This is like the 2022 version of Raw XD, and if you need me to explain that to you, please don't need me to explain that to you. I don't need a reminder of how old I'm getting. This is also the type of sticker that my dad would find on his stuff, so, you know, that's something. I'm not really sure how that helps, but I never promised to be helpful, so that's on you. And next, cringe. I literally had to physically walk away, which is concerning. Am I okay? Why is this genuinely making me upset? Like, it's a clock. I need to calm down. But let's be real. This is a criminal level of cringe. If you have this in your house, never invite me over. The combination of the outdated 2011 Facebook text and the fact that it's all cropped up just reminds me of those keep calm and whatever posts. Next is this ticker. Now, look, this goes straight into Masterpiece, but I need to explain because if it was just the meme, yeah, snort. I've seen it so many times, I'm almost immune. Oh, what, what, what's ticker? <laughs> <laughs> but the absolute genius level of it being a sticker that you can put on your carrier. Get it? I have no idea what meta is, but if I'm anywhere close to what it means, this is meta. And then we go back down to cursed. Oh yes, the perfect gift for your pet dog that loves black pink. Do you honestly think he's gonna notice that half the group is missing? Come on, don't be silly, he's a dog. <laughs> this is another example of people just putting up designs and not really checking how it fits on stuff. This isn't really black pink, this is barely bullpen. But it could make a good gift for one of those solo stands that only like Jenny and Jisoo. But then again, those types of people don't deserve to be gifted. Next. Um, uh, this, I, the, the card, um, with, um, ma ma masterpiece? Okay, but seriously, imagine sending your grandma this postcard in the mail. 
Those grannies are about to fight over this at that nursing home. Next, this one is cursed for sure, but to be fair, this did make me laugh the hardest, but I'm not giving any credit to the product. Apparently, this one is supposed to say cries in Korean, which what the fuck does that even mean? But it's so fitting that Redbubble was just like, no, that's bullshit, I am not printing that. So obviously we're throwing the entire thing in cursed. And the next one isn't much better cause it's cringe. We seriously haven't left the uh thing behind? Like when everyone used to mock K-pop idols accents adding EU to the end of words. But it gets even more embarrassing. Imagine buying something that says Yoongi's wife. If you are not 12 years old, what the mother f are you doing that for? That's embarrassing. You're embarrassing. <laughs> Even if you are Yoongi's wife, just don't buy that. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. And next, Masterpiece? Cause this is really cute and wearable. It isn't, you know, in your face merch, which can get kinda tacky. Like, oh, I don't know, your bias is large ass face on a skirt. All in all, this is cute. It's fun and it goes right here. And next, non-ironic chuckle, maybe even Masterpiece. The absolute big brain energy of picking this exact image cannot be ignored. It looks like they're screaming because you stepped on them, and that's hilarious. Maybe a little sadistic, but shut up, let me laugh. Another masterpiece just because of the image selection. I mean, isn't it the perfect coffee mug? Just talking about this 80s livestream makes me laugh out loud, so I had to up it and give this mug masterpiece status. Lastly, of course, we ended on a negative note, but in a humorous way with these dumpster fire leggings that definitely go in cursed. The placement of the text is absolutely sending me because if I had a nickel for every day I wake up and just say, ah, opung old end, and I think we all need to live by that. <coughs> And that brings us to the end of this video. That's all of the cursed merch that I had and hopefully going through these made you laugh or made you disgusted. Honestly, I'm a combination of both here. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Also comment which merch out of these was your favorite or even better, which one do you want to throw off a cliff? Anyway, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon with another video. Take care.